Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of December 4th to December 10th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it also i wanted to say if this reading resonates for you i will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested keep in mind roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings all right let's see your energy aquarius for the week spirit angels and guides please show me the energy of aquarius in regards to love for this week thank you spirit Let's get three shuffles. <clears throat> All right, here we go. What's the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week, Aquarius? All right, we have the King of Swords in reverse, Temperance, Queen of Wands upright, Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Page of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Wands, Three of Swords. Okay, so you're trying, you're trying to get over someone here. You're not doing a good job, though, because we have the Queen of Wands, so you're struggling here. You're trying your best. Yeah, you're trying your best to let something go, to, you know, leave the past in the past, um, and heal from this heartbreak that you feel like you went through with a specific person or due to a, a specific person hit, um, what was I going to say? Hurting you, a specific person hurting you. Hmm. Interesting though, we do have the Knight of Cups in reverse, which can represent um, suppressed emotion. All right, so you're, you're angry. Uh, um, that, that's, that's what's going on here. Yeah especially with the king of swords in reverse so you're you're angry you're angry you're upset you're bitter basically you're bitter over what this person did to you it's kind of like an energy of how dare this person do this to me you know you know after all i did for them or you know after after everything i i went through with them After all the support and care uh, I gave to this person, how dare this person do this? Like, how dare this person betray me in this way or treat me this way? So your ego is definitely hurt with the Six of Wands. Yeah, you expected this person to, to give you the same amount of care and, and you know, generosity that, that you gave to them. Or loyalty, uh, dedication, devotion, or, you know. Consideration that you gave to them. Yeah, it does look like this person has you feeling very um, out of balance. King of Swords in reverse, Temperance in reverse. This person has really um, affected your, your sense of balance, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It's interesting, though, because you're in this energy of, I need to get away from this. I need to get away from this person. 
I need to get away from this situation. You know, I need to just focus on myself and, you know, focus on my personal goals and on on my career, my work, my finances, and I need to just forget about this person and forget that they exist. But I don't feel like you're you're doing that though. It almost feels like you're waiting for them. Yeah, it almost feels like you're waiting for them to do something. Let me see what else I can get from this. Um, let me use another deck. Let's see. Let's use this one. All right, spirit, spirit angels and guys, what can you tell me about Aquarius's current feelings for this person? There's a lot of negative feelings here. Neg negative emotions and negative feelings. A lot. I feel like there's a mixture of hurt, resentment, anger, bitterness, shock also. I feel like there's an element of shock, surprise. What are Aquarius' current feelings for this person? Or, yeah, what are Aquarius' feelings? for this person. The Emperor, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's something about you feeling like you were really good to this person, Knight of Cups. You were really good to them. You were really caring and loving and generous. And you feel like this person repaid you in the in the worst way possible you feel like this person is acting now like they're acting like unbothered or they're acting like like they don't care they're they're in their ego they're not really feeling any type of remorse or like you feel like this person's not feeling any remorse or feeling any regret for the stuff that they put you through. Yeah, you feel like this person is just acting like, like they could care less. Yeah. And that, I do feel like that's something that, you know, hurts you with the Knight of Swords or bothers you because um, it's just mean, you know? You feel like it's just mean, it's just rude, basically. It's, dis it's disrespectful. It's like they're acting very indifferent or they're acting very dismissive they're not showing any emotion. They're not showing any guilt. And yeah, it's, it's just um, unfortunate. You see it as unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. uh, anything else? Well, what do I want to clarify here? All right, let's clarify over here. What can you tell me about the King of Swords in reverse to Temperance to Queen of Wands spirit? <clears throat> King of Swords in reverse to Temperance to Queen of Wands. Uh, connected to Aquarius. Oh, King of Cups. Yeah. This is this is the the base of everything or the the basis of everything of of all your hurt and anger and pain and disappointment it it comes from this energy this is an energy of love this is someone who you love this is someone who you really deeply care about someone who you have deep feelings for someone who you you know you genuinely wanted to establish a, a loving stable relationship and and commitment with this person 
you know, you weren't playing games here. You weren't playing games with this person or within this relationship. You were, you were bringing your 100% authentic self to this relationship. And it kind of looks like you really did your best, you know? You did your best to, to give the most, to, ha to support this relationship and to, you know, have a long lasting relationship with this person. So it's all very just, you know, disappointing here, the way everything is playing out basically, currently between, between you and this person. All right. Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess. Yeah, it kind of looks like you want change. You want change, Aquarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this, can, this change can be with this person or this change can be, you know, with with yourself on your own. I don't feel like that's decided yet. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't feel like that has been decided yet, though I do see you more more leaning towards making a change all on your own, not with this person, but just with yourself moving forward and moving on. But I don't feel like you want to do that, you know? You just feel like you have no choice. All right. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this person now. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to. Not yet. The sun, some of you are connecting with a Leo. Please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Aquarius? One more shuffle. All right, here we go. All right, in their energy towards you, uh-oh, hangman in reverse, that's not a good card. Seven of Cups and the Chariot in Reverse. At the bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles, Temperance in Reverse as well, and Empress in Reverse. At the bottom also Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Keep in mind all the cards are upright before I started shuffling. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, you two don't, it doesn't look like you two should be together, at least right now. It looks like if you two were to get together, it would be like World War, World War III, you know, at this moment in time, because this person is harboring a lot of resentment and you're also harboring a lot of resentment on your side. Because I do see this person feeling really upset, angry, bitter, resentful, um, and heartbroken as well. They are trying to, um, I feel like this person is exploring their options. They're trying to, you know, find something else, find someone new or find something new to put all their energy into so that they can stop thinking about you and, you know, overthinking about you. It does look like an energy of someone who is refusing to to make improvements right now because they are kind of in a victim mentality energy. 
victim mode energy. Yeah, this person feels like you're the one who hurt them, you're the one who um, started problems with them, or you're the one who created problems or created issues or whatever it might be. They're just looking at you like you're the one to blame. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords in reverse. Five of Wands. It does look like there was some sort of big fight or argument or disagreement between the two of you. And this person feels like, like you should be the one to come towards them to fix things with them, and to fix this relationship. They feel like you should be the one to do that. They don't agree that you're the victim. They feel like they're the victim. They feel like you're playing the victim, but they don't agree that you're the victim. They feel like they are the victim. Hmm. Yeah, this person is out of balance um, and you're out of balance as well. So both of you are kind of like feeding each other um this very unstable energy you know unbalanced unstable energy both of you are kind of like in that same boat so this looks like some sort of big clash here between you and this person you two are are clashing with each other heavily kind of like butting heads with each other heavily. And you feel like you're in the right with the six of wands. You feel like you're in the right and they feel like they're in the right. So, I mean, I'm just a tarot reader. I'm not gonna say who's right or wrong here. I don't, it doesn't look like there's a winner or loser here, or it doesn't look like there's a right person or, or a wrong, or a wrong person. I, I can't I don't see that to be honest. It kind of looks pretty neutral. It looks pretty neutral. It kind of looks like you two had some sort of um altercation and it kind of turned into a snowball, you know, like it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, like the snowball effect. It almost looks like there's, there was a lack of communication on your part, Aquarius. You decided to stay quiet, you know? You decided to not speak. But I guess, that, I guess this kind of didn't work. I don't think it worked in your favor, you know, like it, I don't think it um, helped the situation, I guess. Though, of course, you, you had your reasons. And I'm not saying they're not valid reasons, but it kind of looks like you just decided to, to close, you know, like to close your mouth, you know, to not speak or say anything. And then this person reacted to that. Because it kind of looks like they, they did something that they shouldn't have done. You stayed quiet, then here they are reacting to you staying quiet. And now you're reacting to them reacting. You know? And they're reacting to you reacting. It's, it's, it's some kind of mess like that. It's like a messy, convoluted situation here where both of you are just triggering each other and it doesn't look like there's any um, um, conclusion or resolution because it kind of looks like it's just um, a continuous cycle that's happening here. I feel like you're trying to break the cycle with the six of wands because it kind of looks like you're trying to remove yourself 
from this situation, from this relationship. But you're only doing it physically. That's the problem, you know? You're only physically removing yourself. You're not energetically removing yourself. So it doesn't make a difference, you know? Because it kind of looks like you're still here with the Queen of Wands, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. It's like you still have some sort of attachment here to this person, even though you're physically removing yourself, the energy is still playing out between the two of you. And it's still affecting you and it's affecting them. And yeah, I don't know where this is going to lead, but um, I'll continue in the extended and we'll see if we can figure out what's gonna happen here, <laughs> okay? So yeah, Aquarius, I'm gonna end the reading right here and I'm going to continue, like I said, in the extended. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person here and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this week? Then I'll take a look at what actions will they end up taking towards you moving forward and what's the overall outcome. All right, um, if you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.